Yeah, today is Wednesday, 9th of October. Went out to start my Ram, and it just clicked. It wouldn't even turn over. I was like, what the hell? And when I get vehicle batteries, I put the date purchased on them. Both batteries were new, August 29th of 2021. So they're just over three years old. And uh, they didn't take a charge from the alternator. Or they're getting weak. I got it on my smart charger. It's showing 75% charge right now. I disconnect them and charge them individually when I got to go to all this trouble. That way if one of them is bad, the smart charger will tell me. This is where I normally park my Ford F-250 99 model. And as soon as I had to take the wife to an appointment. And as soon as I dropped her off, I come back home and parked out front so I can move trucks around. Old 99 Ford cranked right up. Moved like it's supposed to. And I got it running just to let the alternator on it charge the batteries up a little bit. They weren't low. Just, I hardly ever drive it. And uh, I'll turn off here in just a few more minutes. Uh, my Ram. I don't have very good luck with batteries at all. Whether it be a daily driver or a vehicle like a tractor that I rarely drive. I have zero luck with batteries. And it don't matter the age of the vehicle. Now this is a 2017 model Ram. I switched the gauges over to the battery charging system when I was driving. It's charging at 14 volts just like it's supposed to. And, uh, I think it's the way modern batteries are being made. They're junk. They're expensive junk, but they're still junk. I got zero luck when it comes to batteries. You can review all my videos, and Lord knows I have to replace a bunch of batteries. It's irritating. So, while I'm waiting for the wife to call me to go pick her up, I'll keep charging the batteries on the RAM, hook them back up. My real good battery tester is up at my farm, of course. That's 38 miles each way. I really can't test them. And, uh, but I know it, you know, three or four years, if I got a battery that loses charge, it really needs to be replaced. I can charge it with my battery charger, it'll be fine. For a few start cycles, then all of a sudden I've got a no start condition again. Today it was in my driveway. What if I'm out in the middle of nowhere? You know, it, it can be a major pain in the keister. The crappy thing is that I buy a decent quality battery. Well, I buy high priced batteries. Two batteries are gonna cost me about 320 bucks. Irritating. Anyway, that's all the drama for this one. Thank you.